that attachment to that which follows. I know I asked this before, but it is still not quite clear what you mean by which follows. Okay. Is seeing now falls arises and falls away? Seeing right now. Yes, yes. I know what is going on. But no understanding, so there is attachment to what which follows instantly, all the time, until there's more understanding of reality, and the understanding letting go to follow the other moments, but attend to that which is now appearing. It is aware, but there must be right understanding. Because awareness without right understanding can be at moment of kusala without understanding. But when there is the understanding of that which is now appearing, it doesn't need only direct awareness, but it needs understanding. Because sati can arise with any moment of kusala, but panya does not arise with sati all the time. Only when it's there, there must be sati. So when there is the understanding of our reality right now, like hardness now, see, it means that there is direct awareness of that object. So Panya can understand that object as only hardness. But when there is no direct awareness, it's only thinking about hardness is not self, it's only hard. But at moment of touching, see, it depends. It can be this moment or any moment. Talking, walking, taking a bath, eating, or any time. There are different realities, not at will. Whatever is there is by conditions only. Even right understanding is there with right awareness, direct awareness is there by conditions. So to understand the anatomy of a reality does not mean that it can condition more attachment. But it can, when it's real, right understanding, it can condition less attachment, not more attachment. When it's wrong, it's more attachment. It's very, very subtle and very crafty for Lopa. It can lower, it can lead to the wrong direction instantly with attachment, with the idea of self. Just want to experience it. Is that not self? Who wants? The I is there, unknowingly. So Panya can understand realities as they are. Very subtle, that's why we have to understand the subtlety, the profoundness of realities. If we do not understand this, that is so subtle, we take it so very easily, just sit and try to be aware. But it's not awareness at all. And what is said is not known. But Buddha taught about what are there at that very moment. Usually it is sam samadhi or ekakata jitasika which can arise with any moment. Akusala, or seeing moment, it's there. So it's different from moment when it arises with kusala and panya. It's there for panya to understand it better when it's one, one pointedness with sati and hiri and otapa and chanda and all bodhipagya dhamma. Each word will lead to the understanding of the fourth noble truth. This is the only way. Without understanding, it's impossible to understand that which is now appearing as no thing, no one in it. That's why from the very beginning, hearing about the truth, it is that which can be seen. And when we carefully consider it, it is only that which can be seen, 
So how can it be a t a v e r only that which can impinge on the ibis, and how little it is in a galapa, which arises and hasn't fallen away yet, impinge on that? So what is that which appears, not as thing, not as big, but so very little, very tiny too, the same to all other s e n s o r hardness. Many many kalapas, and the kalapas, which is one kalapa which is touched, and the other kalapa follow instantly. So many kalapas. Otherwise, why did Buddha thought about the how long it lasts? One rupa, see, to see that as long as it's there, it can be conditioned for other c i t t a at the moment after see, after seeing to be. s a m p a t i c h a n a s a n d r a n a b o t a p a n a and Chavana, in an instant, see, before it can be anything. So what is true? It appears as things around, many many things, or just only very little at a time. So very rapidly, that it seems like it's there all the time, with different image. As something, when it's there, with sign and image of table, of chair, of bed, of smartphone, of everything. So many kalapa. If it's not touched, the sense object, how can it appear? So what is there? As something. How many moments of touching, of seeing, uncountable, but p a n y a can begin to let go the clinging to what is there after seeing. It is thinking, for sure, but who knows that at this moment there is also seeing and thinking, and other moments in between, as well. But from hearing, there's no one who can change the way it is. It is like it is, but it does not appear as it is yet. It appears as something, the magic world, the dream world of people and things, just like in a dream. When one wakes up, no more. So when p a n y a understands, no more. It's just like a dream. Thinking that everything is like table and thing all the time, my dear one, my friend, my possessions, and so on. But actually, it's only moment of citta which thinks about that. So the question is: Do you have arms, legs? See, this is a test. Not just the answer, but the understanding. How clear it is when we say that. Oh, no arm, no leg. See, only the answer from thinking, but not from directly experiencing. Actually, no one there at all. Only the reality, which can be the object of that moment, seeing, touching, or whatever it is. This is so true in life. Each moment, so understanding is to penetrate the truth at level of p r i y a t i That's why there are three rounds of a r i y a s a t c h a It's not just hearing, but it's the p a n y a s a t c h a y a n a of the first truth of the a r i y a s a t c h a and the patipati. About the four a r i y a s a t c h a and p a t i v e d a of the four a r i y a s a t c h a Twelve rounds. Three of each of a r i y a s a t c h a
But in the beginning, without the understanding clear, because it does not appear as it is yet, we just have the idea of there is no I. The experiencing is the experiencing, like now, seeing sees. It experiences only that which is seen, only that which is seen, and which is seen, not a table. That which is seen, only that which impinges on the ibis. So that's all in a moment. So many moments to from the image or the mark of what is seen as something, dream world about things. So can we say that one lives in a dream? Not wake up yet. And only Panya can wake one's up and wake what we take for things as nothing anymore, little by little. That's why there must be the confidence of the first intellectual understanding or pariyati to condition patipati, to condition pativeda. Just about what is now appearing, not far away, and it's gone when it's not experienced. So there is no arm, no leg, no throat, no eye, no ear, only that which is sad when it's touched, no matter where and what. And when Panya is there, no place at all. Otherwise, there must be a something like room or place all the time, or here or there. But actually, it's the moment of rising and falling away instantly. Otherwise, there cannot be letting go more and more and more, better and better, better, until it can be completely eradicated. It has to go so far, long way. But Panya develops from moment to moment up till then. No one can stop in the right conditions, like Sariputta met Asichi. No idea that he would become a Sotapanna at all. But what about the unexpected right understanding when it's there, anatta, all the way? So no doubt about the anatta of whatever is there now. By conditions, only that, and it does not last at all. All gone. We don't have to wait for tomorrow to understand that there is no more this moment. Only now it's gone, from moment to moment, until tomorrow, until on and on and on. In every life, not just only in this life, and this is true, what's born and what's die. Without citta, jitasika, rupa, realities, can there be anything born and die? And actually, it is kanika marana, the momentary death. So no, f there is no fear of death because it's there all the time, right now, exactly the same. No matter the moment of birth, no matter of death, no matter of seeing, hearing, all gone. Nothing is left from moment to moment. And this, when it's developed, can be the moment of letting go at moment of directly experience, but the Veda, Vipassana Jnana, that's why there are different words for Panya. Not only intellectual understanding. And it develops now. To understand the truth is better than not understand at all 
and still cling with ignorance from life to life, endlessly. Exactly, no matter its pleasant feeling or unpleasant feeling, they are gone now, see? No more, why cling? Ignorance is there. But understanding the way it is, actually, there is no I, no thing, no dear one, no possession, just chitta, experiences an object, the chief of experiencing, arising with many jetasikas. They arise to perform their function, each different one, and then gone. Only that, what's the use? Of just arise, perform the functions, and then gone never to return at all. But Panya can understand that, and letting go, wrong understanding, and clinging, which will bring about so many unpleasant moments, or even pleasant moments, in Deva plane, see, not understand the truth, that it does not last. No matter how long life is in heaven, each moment is just that, arising and falling away, and then not being and being in, in heaven anymore, depending on karma to be what? It can be a little ant, or an elephant, or tiger, or worms, anything can be like we see in this life. So many beings by conditions. And what about their past life in eons and eons ago? And as being a person, human being in this life, what about next life? Who knows? Depending on conditions. So this life, the precious moment is the moment of understanding the truth. And it will bring so very pleasant moment. No clinging to that anymore. To end up Ian's and Ian's life and Ian's in years in the future to come to the end, like any arahata. But it can, no one can force one to not cling to that which appears, because there is still ignorance. That's why to understand the truth depending on chanda and the parami, whether who can see the value, the precious of understanding the truth of what is there, little by little, because it can bring to the enlightenment the truth of no one and nothing. Because even right now, it's there, when we listen to the truth by the teachings of the Buddha, and it's not yet direct understanding, but it can be. So how miraculous it is from ignorance to understand the truth, experience with pleasant feeling to understand the truth, not be ignorant anymore, not cling to anymore, because cling to what? To that which is gone forever, all the time. How ignorance is there? Clinging to that which is no more after it's gone from appearing and then gone. Is it useful to be such and such and such from life to life? They are all dharmas, they perform the function. Many realities arising with one moment of citta. It can be ignorance or it can be panya, right understanding. It can be lopa, clinging, or it can be ahlopa. No greed, no clinging. What is better? All depends on conditions. Wise considering or unwise considering. That's why there can be more metta, more compassion to those who do not understand the truth. Because actually there is no one, there are different dharmas, the cause and the result, from moment to moment, endlessly. 
Otherwise, how can there be this person at moment of birth? It depends on conditions. And after death, there must be condition for citta jitasika to arise. Instantly, no gap in between, as different one. And what will be, no one knows, for next moment in life, in next life, at all. So this life, the precious moment, is understanding the truth, which can be accumulated on and on when there are right conditions, just like this life. Why the others are not interested in listening to the truth, they are different dharmas, no one at all, conditioned to be just like that. So we have more compassion, more kindness towards those who do not understand the truth. That's why they live in their own way, without understanding. That's why it conditioned the great dana is have the other and hearing the truth and understand the truth. The best thing for the best friend to whoever have conditions to be interested in listening. <laughs> 